awesome milk typography design in Photoshop. Open Photoshop and create a new document. I used 1920 into 1200 pixels. Read. Then select the rectangle tool M. and create two squares and two rectangles. Same way, copy, Ctrl plus C, and paste, Ctrl plus V, another two rectangles. To create the M, select the pen tool P, and add two points, two blocks away from the center. Add two more points, and move then notch them up two blocks. Now add another point in the very middle of the line and then nudge that point down one block. To finish the aim, again with the pencil P, add three new points, but move only the middle one down. For the other letters, it's pretty much the same. Is the pencil P? and use the same technique we used for the M. Actually, here are four rectangles. We will change the rectangle into four individual characters by using the pencil. That will make the milk word. Each font has to be in one layer. The background will be black, while the word will be white. With the eraser to A, erase the part of the character M on the top right corner. Hard, the effect wasn't looking really nice with the milk splash. With the rectangular marker tool M, delete the bottom part of the image. Hard, you could see the glass.
Then with the magic wand tool W, select the block area of the image and delete it. Then with the eraser tool A, delete some areas of the splash. to increase or reduce the eraser size. It's very important to delete the right areas to make the effect more realistic. As we used different images and some of them had some color variations such as the images over the M and L. So to make them look more uniform, go to layer then new adjustment layer then gradient map select the reverse option and that will be enough to make the splashes look the same to create the depth of fill effect just copy a part of one of those images that have quite a few jobs and paste in the document. Copy and paste it in the document and again go to image, then adjustments, then desaturate. For the L, I used another photo from Shutterstock. Select the K and with the eraser tool E, delete the top right corner of the letter. Try to follow the flow of the mail. First thing to do is convert E to grayscale. Go to image, then adjustment, then desaturate. After that, go to image, then adjustment, then levels. Increase the black input until you have almost a black background. Then with the magic wand tool W, select and delete the background of the splash image. Go to edit, then transform, then scale, and move it and resize it to match the width of the cake. 